Hi everyone, Cherry here. Um, today I thought we would do some jelly prints. Now, um, I'm on my beginning of my journey with jelly uh, prints. And so I'm hoping you'll go on the journey with me and we'll learn together. Now I've spent a f the last few days doing some, well, doing a lot actually. I have a stack over there of um, prints that I've made. Once you get started, it's hard to stop. So I have an 8x10 um, jelly plate here and my brayer, 4-inch brayer. I have my scrap paper here to clean my brayer with. I have some uh, 8x10, what is it, 8x10? About, somewhere around that, copy paper. And I have one, a couple pieces of, I'm only going to do one, of tissue paper. My, this tissue paper is really thin, so I'm not having a lot of success with this. But just to show you, you can do it on tissue paper. You can do it on um, parchment paper, tracing paper, a copy paper, you know, a lot of different uh, papers. So, yeah, I just, uh, I have a hair here. And of course, it'll be attracted to the gel plate because um, that's just the nature of the beast. Now, I'm just using, um, for the most part, craft paint. I have a few um, student grade um, artist loft, which I hate artist loft. <laughs> their paints aren't as bad as their, uh, their alcoholic markers are absolutely horrible. Um, and some Daler Rowney, Rowney, Daler Rowney, I don't know how that's pronounced. Anyway, you can pick those up at Walmart or Michael's and then craft paint, deco art for the most part. They're mostly all deco art craft paints. So let's just get started. So you basically just lay your ink down or your paint, sorry, down on your jelly plate. Now we're just going to do, this is uh, Jelly Prints 101. We're just going to do, oops, that's probably more paint than I need. But, you know, say la vie. A little bit of pink, a little bit of purple. Why not, eh? This pretty blue, tropical blue. Nice. And let's stay with that. That's enough for now. So you just, you want to uh, roll and lift your brayer. Now if you get little globs like this, my paint's fairly old, so I'm getting little globs. That's just going to add texture, so it's almost a good thing. I don't worry about that too much. So like I said, I'm a, I'm a novice. But I thought I would take you on this journey with me. Okay, so we have our paint spread out. we we'll bring our copy paper down. Now with a, you know, not too heavy a hand. I'd say a med medium pressure. We're going to lift that up. And when we lift it up, it's called a pull. And this is what you get. Now, this is something I'm having to learn to uh, work on, and that's leaving lines for my brayer. So I maybe I'm pressing too hard. But so that's one. And we're going to change up the colors, and I'm going to leave the little bit of residue here. And you know, our next print may just pick that up. And Let's go in with some. I want you to see these metallic paints that I have. They're gorgeous. These are um, Art Alchemy. And they're really quite pretty. I want to take it easy because I've... Uh, it's a dark color, so I don't want it to totally dominate our little, uh, let's throw in some 
odd orange. Okay, let's see what we have with that. I'm going to clean my brayer. Now, from what I understand, it's better to have thin coats of paint than too thick. So, I, I'm learning to gauge it a little bit. It doesn't take long to learn to, how to uh, gauge that. Okay, hopefully I have left less lines. I probably still have lines. Okay, we'll give that a shot. A line or two I don't mind, but you don't want it in every one of your prints. Okay, firm but not hard pressure. There we have it. Yeah, see, I still have lines. <laughs> I need a 11-inch brayer so I could just go with one scoop. That's okay. We're going to give this tissue paper a shot. Now, this is uh, another one that's a little bit, a little bit more difficult. Um, now, I think you really have to be careful with the tissue paper that your paint's not too thick because they're... If it is, it's going to just, the tissue will just stick to the, to the plate. Let's go with some yellow. Now, after I, these dry, I'm going to come in. Actually, yeah, I'm going to come in with, a, a, excuse me, another layer. Let's put some pink down. What the heck? What the heck? Do I want pink or blue? Uh, maybe I'll leave the pink because, let's use some green, because we have pink in one of our other prints there. So just to keep it changed up a bit. Okay, make sure I have a clean brayer. Now this is where you don't want globs because it's going on tissue paper. So you don't want any areas too thick. Okay, let's give that a shot. Fingers crossed. Now the best way to lift this up is with two hands. So I'm going to turn it this way and hope for the best. This is really thin tissue. It's from the dollar store, and I think it's probably thinner than other tissues, only because it's, you know, not especially, oops, I'm tearing it. It's not especially, it's okay, you know what? You can still use it, especially if you're doing collages or, yeah, collages most, oops, there it goes <laughs> I like the color it picked up, though. Okay, that was a slow process. That was painful. That's cool, though. I like the white that came in there. And this is okay, really, um, because you can use pieces of this for, uh, like I said, for collages. So anyway, that's our tissue paper. So now I'm going to let those dry. I'm going to give them, you know, five or six minutes at least, probably 10 minutes to be t totally sure. Um, and then we'll come back and we're going to do some more, another layer. Okay, so I've given my um, prints about 10 minutes to dry. I think I'm pretty safe there. And I decided, since I mentioned tracing paper, I decided to pull out a piece of tracing paper. Um, I don't have much left right now. So all I have is something with the, something I've drawn on it. So I'm going to use that 
even though there's a drawing on it and it may I don't know what will happen I don't know if the drawing will come up or what will happen so I'm just going to pick two colors this time and I think I'll go with pink and orange okay and as I said, not too thick on this because it's uh, it's thinner paper. So we'll see. We will see. This is so much fun to do. It's so relaxing, no pressure, unless you put pressure on yourself. Okay. I have a little pressure not to have lines here. <laughs> Okay, let's see. Let's see what we've got. I'm pressing quite a bit here because I want it to pick up all my paint. I don't want to have to clean my my uh, plate again. I hope I said I wanted to pick up all the paint, not the plate. Okay, well, not bad. Not bad for a first layer. And it did, um, well, yeah, we have our drawing on there. Which, you know, actually that could work out well. If you're planning on doing any kind of artwork on your print, to have the outline already there would help. Or if you're going to... Um, you know, do some collage work where you cut up little pieces and this is a swan. I could do a swan with this with the little pieces and I already have my drawing on there. So, yeah, that works. So, okay, so now I want to come in and do a second layer. And this time I'm going to use my precious gold. If I see where I put it. I have no idea where I put that. I'm going to look for my gold. I'm going out panning gold back in a minute. Found it. <laughs> okay. Ooh. This is uh, a professional grade golden iridescent bronze. It's beautiful. Okay. Now I've already tried this and done a couple of prints. With this gold and I loved it so wanted to share that with you now I find too you don't get as many lines when you're using the thicker paint the better quality paint so that's something to keep in mind okay now I'm going to get a print from It's just a plastic heart with cutouts that I found at the dollar store the other day. And it ends up, I thought, well, I could use that in my printmaking. Okay. It was just a plastic heart. I don't know. It's supposed to be a placemat or something. All right. Now we're going to put our first layer down and see about picking up this print for our second layer. Well, there we have it. I think you can pick that. Isn't that gorgeous? It's gorgeous. Okay, now I'm, I could, I'm going to, uh, Try to pick up that gold there with another piece of tissue paper. And that will clean my plate. And hopefully it's not, it's wet enough that I can pick it up. No, I'm not so sure. That's feeling pretty dry under there. It would help if I didn't have two sheets of paper. <laughs> I might pick up something. Okay, 
two hands. No. Not enough paint and it was too dry. So yeah, it didn't pick any up. So that's all right. I'm not worried about that being there. And I'm going to come in and I think I'll leave it at that with that. Now you can use any kind of stencil and get this gorgeous, gorgeous <laughs> effect. I'm going to come in now and work on this one just with a stamp. And I think I'm going to make, uh, what will I do? Some leaves. I think I'll make leaves on that. Just a regular stamp. And I'm going to use my precious gold again. I'm going to lay it out on my scrap paper here. And dab my print in it. So I dab my uh, step, uh, gee, my stamp in it. And then add it to my paper. How gorgeous is that? Boy, gorgeous is the word of the day, I guess. So pretty. I'm trying to be aware of my angles here. Uh... Maybe coming out of the paper. There we have it. Is that pretty? Beautiful. All right, now we have our little tissue paper image. But I'm actually not crazy about. I mean, it's all right. I'm going to uh, take this stamp off my block and bring in a bumblebee. And I'm just going to use um, regular ink. I have a whole pile of stuff here now. Okay, I'm going to grab my ink and then we'll come back and do our stamp. Okay, I decided to go with the, um, you know, the first tissue paper rather than the tracing paper because I like these colors much better and I'm just going to uh, step on some bumblebees trying to be aware of where I'm putting this to get a uh, nice pattern.
So there we have it. How cute is that? I'll bring this up. Give you a better look. So there we have it. Jelly Prince 101. <laughs> and this is what we've done today. Our tissue paper with our bumblebees. Our uh, large print. Our large stencil with gorgeous uh, gold in the background. And then our purple, pink, and blue with our gold leaves. So I hope you enjoyed that. As I said, this is uh, Jelly Prince 101 with Sherry. <laughs> and we will learn together. Now I'll be doing lots of practice off camera so that hopefully I'll be providing something new. <laughs> so if you're uh, advanced in this, you're probably not going to learn much from me. But if this is new to you, yeah, we'll go on this journey together. So I hope you enjoyed that. If you did, we'd love a thumbs up. You know the routine. Thumbs up, comments, press the notification bell so you know when I upload and all that jazz. So I hope you folks have a great day and I'll see you on the next one. Bye for now.